We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Trey Palmer, Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver, rookie out of Nebraska. He's looked absolutely dominant in the preseason. Like, I really liked him coming out of Nebraska as, like, a route runner, and just he's been putting on a master class at the catch point with some of these plays. Like, this play is absolutely ridiculous, the body control, the fearlessness to even go up and attempt to make this, showing just great strong hands, like... People aren't making this type of play. Like, the concentration here is ridiculous. Hanging on to it. Love that. We'll go back, break down this a little more slowly from the beginning of this route. Um, he's done a pretty good job with his releases, his route running. Still things he can be maybe a little more efficient on. But always at the line when he faces press. Just get a nice little split release. Wind to the inside instantly. He does a good job of, like, dipping those shoulders. Getting on his line here exactly where he wants to be. Get to that inside positioning right there. Leverage battle is pretty good. They're facing like a three match here, and he's able to create a little separation, break into the inside, and this linebacker over the middle field never sees the ball. He's looking to the other side, and Palmer able to go up high point it, uh, make this play at the catch point, the body control, ridiculous, the concentration ability, tracking this all the way, and strong hands to hang on to it. Love the competitive and physical toughness. You can see the energy that he's brought, and he's just been super productive in these uh, early games. Through all the preseason games, he's made plays very impressive plays at the catch point so we'll get through the rest of those right up after this but palmer really really impressed by what i've seen from him big fan of this route at the top of the screen we got palmer facing some bail they're in cover three again and he just shows a good understanding of how to you know attack the blind spot this is exactly exactly what you want to do in this situation like he starts off with an inside release here, hard inside, attack that leverage. Once he sees the guy bail out and have that natural outside leverage, he knows he wants to regain it, so he starts, you know, subtly creeping to the outside here, works into the blind spot of the DB, which gives himself a two-way go and really puts this guy in a tough spot here. Ball doesn't get thrown his way or targeted, but this is a nice process of seeing what he can do in the future, uh, setting up these routes, just being an overall smart player and then creating that natural separation, you know, if that ball is out to him on time, it's a completion down the field, just a great understanding of what he needs to do uh, versus different coverage looks, techniques, uh, the leverage of these defensive backs, and then getting into that positioning, showing some pretty um, good savvy veteran type plays for the uh, rookie out of Nebraska. Here you see Palmer scoring a touchdown here versus the Jets. Uh, they get a quarter's look. He doesn't do anything too crazy, but just love him finishing at the catch point here. We'll uh, watch this again. Just showing off some nice speed, working vertically down the field. He's clearly comfortable. He gives like this slight, like you can see it's there's a subtle outside leverage lean here just to get this guy to give a little of his leverage to the inside up. And then boom, attack vertically. He shows off the speed. He's now in a position to make a play at the catch point. DB slightly mistimes it. He just puts up his hand, able to, you know, slow it down and a lot of times guys they'll try to stick with this hand and then not make this catch he kind of just uses it to bat it to himself and make that nice play great tracking too because this db undercuts him a lot of times they get in your eyes like that and it becomes a very difficult catch at the catch point as you can see right here the guy waves his hand across his face and he just stays calm poised on his way down great body control to finish uh just excellent excellent work from palmer playing like that uh, just like a guy who's been in the league for a very long time. And this touchdown versus the Steelers for Palmer. Super impressive. Like, just to win here. Like, first of all, great throw. Like, absolutely great throw. Um, I believe that's Baker. Um, but just went to the inside. Just split release off the line. Quick inside. Get your speed. He's kind of getting bracketed here. They're in man-to-man. -man and he, they, The SDB knows he has help to the inside. So he just maintains that outside leverage. Nothing you really do here. He gives, like, a nice little move at the top of his catch point. But he has enough separation goes up attacks the ball at its highest point i love that he always is attacking the ball going up great tracking over the top of this db's hand too and then getting both feet in bounds so great situational field awareness on this play you can see the body control when he's in air he has some nice in air athleticism uh just big fan of his game all around he could still work on some of his releases um overall some of his route running too but I've seen enough good there at this point in his career to feel pretty confident about him in the future. And then the stuff I've seen at the catch point, absolutely ridiculous. Whether it's in contested situations, uncontested situations, tracking, um, it's all been very, very impressive work from Trey Palmer. We got Palmer here at the top, back guy in this little stack right there. And he gets called for pass interference here. It's kind of a weak call, but I kind of like to see this anyways. Getting physical, there's ways to create separation. Now he's just got to be a little more subtle with it. But it's, you know, not the best call I've ever seen. But 
he does a really good job of selling vertically here. You look at him, like, manipulate his pace. Like, changing up your route tempo is very important. It makes you very hard for DBs to get a good read on you. And he sort of, you know, raises that pad level, which makes it look like you're going to break. And then accelerates, looks so it looks like he's going to go vertically. Gets the DB to hard commit. And then he uses a little bit of a throw-by. Very weak throw-by, by the way, to get called for, you know, pass interference here. But this guy has so much momentum going this way. The reason he gets called for is because he really sells vertically hard. So it gets this guy to just run deep. He goes a little bit of a throw by there, gets out of his break very efficiently, and he, you know, he catches it with his hands very smooth. But that route was very, very nice. Um, just got to, you know, not get called next time, but I think that wasn't a good call. So Palmer, looking good, uh, can create some separation, which is very, very important. We've seen him winning contested situations. But you can also win with route running, create separation with some nuanced, savvy route running skills, or using some physicality at, physicality at the top of the route. And then just also athletic ability. I think he has a multitude of different ways that he can win. When you're a young wide receiver, you got to be able to go out there, get block. You want to block to get some playing times. He's going out there and at least giving some nice effort, which is awesome to see. Helps seal this guy out on the screen, kick him out to the outside. He squares him up. He's sort of stock blocking. And once he sees this guy work to the outside, he just starts driving him here. Gives him a lane to work through to pick up a few extra yards. Just nice to see that effort out of Palmer. Because uh, a lot of times those receivers won't get playing time because they're not out there doing a great job blocking. And it's usually not even about just being a great blocker. It's just about getting out there and being willing to do it. And Palmer shows a nice willingness. And right there, that was some pretty solid technique. At the top of the screen, nice to see this from Palmer where he's giving some different looks. It was uh, similar to that throw by that he used. It doesn't end up being completed because of... Uh, just an inaccurate throw. Also nice to see him work off script. But just very sudden off the line of scrimmage. So I like the release here. Just quick off the line. Gets into his route very quickly. He gets into the spot that he wants to be. And he tries to hit like a little bit of a throw by. This guy gets a little grabby here. Like he's holding him when he's trying to break to the outside. If he didn't hold him, this has actually been a really nice route. But he gets held up. Um, then has to work off of it. Gets physical to create some separation right there. So if the ball comes out, there's just guys in front of him. But the ball comes out, he did beat his man. Um, even though he got held up. And then he sticks with it off script. Gets open later in the route too. The ball is just thrown a little errantly. He doesn't have a chance. But I did like what I see from like the whole process of that play. And I could see that translating to future success. Last play that I'm break down. Palmer at the bottom of the screen. Just nice to see him uh, making these types of tough catches here too. Because we've seen him making these catches down the field on a vertical plane. At least far down the field. Here's just like basically at like 4 to 5 yards. Um, doesn't do anything too crazy on this route with the slant. Just sort of, you know, working some pace there, slow playing it. This is a contested situation. A lot of times when players are in this spot right here in a slant, this guy's all over their back. It's very difficult to make these catches. And he catches it away from his body, which is very important. A lot of guys try to catch that with their body in that situation. And then he uses his hands. And then he keeps it away. He can't even tuck it because this guy's fighting to knock this ball out. So he keeps it away, keeps it secure. And you can see how strong his hands, is, it, hands are. And then he's able to pull it in late. So very impressive. Uh, some more little savvy veteran little things that he's doing to his game. Just came away super impressed uh, throughout the preseason what I saw out of Palmer. Uh, Buccaneers might have gotten a steal out of him, especially with what I've seen so far. And they already have a pretty good wide receiver room. So excited to see if he ends up getting some playing time this season. Wouldn't expect too much just because, you know, usually the late round rookies don't get a, a ton of work. But I could see it with how dominant his preseason was. He was working with the starters a little bit in this Ravens game. So... Excited to see the future holds for Palmer uh, this year down the line. Uh, I think his future is bright. So if you guys know the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.